what's up guys welcome back to the part two of the norms that we should let go of i will just go straight to it because yeah i know that you're expecting it okay and before we actually get to that i hope that you guys have subscribed to the channel if you haven't i'm going to give you a couple of seconds to do that starting from now Done. great now you can be part of the family also do not forget to follow me on instagram at that and that will keep all the conversations going so let's go on to the part two don't you think mm -hmm. today we are starting on a lighter note and hmm, one of the norms that we should let go of in 2022 is the notion that wakikuyu wanna paint a person just because Kikuyu's love doing multiple businesses or saving up or doing multiple investments does not mean that they necessarily love money more than anyone else. It's even other people like money. Like, who does not like money? It's the same way when people say that Luos, Lua girls have the figure, okay? I have met some Lua girls who don't have it. And I have met girls from other tribes who have have a figure not that i was looking or anything i, I wasn't looking okay, i can't promise you i wasn't looking another norm that we should let go of is normalizing hit and run i feel like you guys you should take responsibility for 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 your gardens i am um, nurture them water them um take them out to the sunlight you know some vitamin d no pun intended and i take responsibility and when i say you guys i mean men so for that you do take responsibility for your seats another norm that we should let go of and this is another personal a, a very very personal one is stop asking people questions that have nothing to do with you like asking people personal questions questions like when are you getting married are you dating or if you're married when are you going to have kids bro please do not ask me these questions because i do not want to be to be labeled as rude but what i'm saying is mind your own business respectfully who another thing that we should talk about is sex no but for real you guys sex we should talk about sex i feel like we grew up knowing that sex is for married people by now we can already tell that it's a lie like <laughs> place yeah but what i actually want to talk about is shaming girls shaming girls when it comes to when it comes to sex um we have prioritized um a girl's virginity so much that if you lose it we are told that you have lost your dignity like you have lost your your virtue when a girl has sons of partners it could be even at different times she's being labeled as a whole but when a guy does the same thing or when he has multiple partners you are being recognized as an alpha am i the only person who sees the hypocrisy in that at a buddha Guy, I can imagine the day Matia Lifania Nina Nabra, you was the guy. I can't be imagining the guy. I can't imagine Stacey Kiel at Yali Patkana Nabra. I love for the screen in a Pelicana Steve. I love for Saka Patkana Kevo. Okay, I do not know why I'm using those names, but yeah, my point is stop shaming girls and stop uplifting people stop uplifting men whatever someone decides to do with their body it's theirs and theirs alone assumptions assumptions one of the assumptions that we should let go of or one of the norms that we should let go of is assuming that just because you ask someone for their forgiveness that they are entitled to give it to you they feel that they're not comfortable or they feel that they have not healed to forgive you i feel it's their own choice to choose if they want to forgive you or not another assumption that we should let go of is this one is for the girls okay baby girl just because just though I'm a kupeleka out on a date does not mean that he likes you and I'm not saying just to just to I'm just using like names just because he 
has taken you out on a date does not mean that he wants to have anything romantic with you maybe it's just like a friendly gesture maybe i'm on hujakula for days so i check was you i check was you might be kai by the way uh ben alini peleka date kai imagine i can like <laughs> jokes on you if you have a job like okay so nora i like you kama ja kuambia hizo words I'm a Nora, I want you to be my girlfriend. Kama haja kwambizo was, please do not assume anything, even if he took you out on a date. Just because I am angry at you, or just because we had a falling or a misunderstanding, does not mean that you aren't me as an enemy. This, this person, you come on to park, they will say, man, um, I want you to eat just not at my table and it does not mean that we are enemies or anything another norm that we should let go of again this one is for the guys is tafadhali please be able to take in rejection politely if i can say ama in a calming manner have you ever seen usha you on a boy ame reject one a day then ananza kumtusi for no reason okay see for no reason it's because you've been rejected but is that how petty you can be like that's so petty like that's so freaking petty just because i said no now that means now you can insult me no be a man grow up you should learn to actually take no for an answer once in a while it soothes your ego another norm we should let go of is chaining people to favors just because you you, you helped someone ama you gave someone a favor does not mean that they ought to return it back let me give you an example um so let's say there's me and i don't know why i keep on thinking about stacy so what just say me there is me and let's say nucho okay let's say i have a friend called nucho which i do but this is just like an example so, uh, so nucho had a problem and i can remember by the louis kuna place kidogo ni kona fix unaweza nisaidia let's say like 2k can you help it with like 2000 bob and nina mpea okay and then ananirudisha hiyo do and then at a different time mimi nina kwa na issue ama nina kwa na fix flani and i need money like urgently na nina jua nucho amelipwa do like that day ama like that within that week so me nina feel obligated kuambia nucho but then nucho naweza say dia 2k but then kuna place flani nimelemwa kidogo and then nucho refuses to give me money you should not feel bad you should i should not be feeling bad si fair hata kuanza kumwambia ati eh yani mimi nakusaidia do wakati uko na shida but mimi nikiwa na shida so huwezi nisaidia no if you think about it this way maybe nucho has like bills to pay maybe nucho has like things to take care of with that many with that money maybe nucho has to send that money somewhere else if he could i'm pretty sure that he would help me mimi nikiwa na shida i'm very sure kama angekuwa in a position to help me angenisaidia but just because mimi nilimsaidia at a certain time sasa mimi ninataka anisaidie do you understand like hiyo kitu ya ku repay back the favor i feel like we should not change people to to favors we we should not we should be mature about it okay so mimi niko na shida nucho unaweza nisaidia eh manzi hapana kuna vile kidogo nasikia hapa hivi siwezi nafaa kufanya a b and c maybe aki manzi size tu siwezi i'm supposed to be mature and understand because i'm pretty sure it, because nucho is my friend kama angeweza angenisaidia but i should also be reasonable enough and understand that pia yeye ako at a certain point yenye haizi nisaidia at this moment but i'm pretty sure if he could he would another norm that we should let go of is at the guy is the only person who is supposed to provide if you are a girl and you have money and or you're working i feel like you guys should have talked it out and see how you could like maybe co-share like the cost or the expenses in that house just because you have a man in that house i manage that he's the only person who's supposed to like cater for everything maybe you guys you could have a talk maybe you could say to a to nasha is 50 50 or 60 40 i don't know but the sense at the dem how is it or at a one bob who said yeah in the house of chose because take care of me i feel that's a norm that we should let go of at this point and time okay my last 
point i actually have so many points that i haven't said but i see this is going to be a very very long video maybe i'm going to do another video later on in the year but i'm just going to close this on this um and my last point is we should let go of apparently we should let go of the notion that men and women are equal i do not agree with this i i do not agree with this i feel like men and women should be treated equal i feel men and women are equal and I don't feel like men are superior to women i i do not feel that at all i'm not saying this at the, i'm not a feminist by the okay maybe i am a little bit but i don't know like me na feel in kama ego nye mengia kwa wanome sana like iki tu mewengia sana kwa akili ati they are the head of the family ati they are set they are first in command ama the second in command after god i i don't feel I don't feel that bullshit. Again, these are my opinions. If you feel you do not agree with my opinions, feel free to share your opinions but not to backlash me because of my opinions. I am not insulting you or I will not I will not argue with you because of your opinions. That's what you believe in and this is what I believe in. Again, your own choice, my own choice. We should learn to respect each other. But so, that's all that I had for you guys on today's video. I hope that you liked it, loved it, enjoyed it. This is just some of the points that you guys gave me and again i do appreciate for the conversation that i had with you guys oh please do not forget to follow me on instagram so that's why i ask some questions um on my insta stories about some of the topics that you'd like me to talk about the topics that you do not want me to talk about any compliments um any anything that you'd like me to change and yeah, I really, really do love that conversation. So that's all that I had for you today. I hope that I'm going to see you guys on the next video next week. And until next time, adios.